Hello mathematicians. My name is Albert Einstein. And my name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Today we will look at measurement. Specifically we will discuss perimeter, area and volume. Perimeter is the outside distance of a 2D shape. To work out the perimeter of a shape we need to add all of the sides together. So it's as simple as just adding all the sides. That is correct. Imagine you walk around the edge of your backyard. And you want to know the distance you have walked. That outside distance is perimeter. Okay, I think I've got it, but when would I use perimeter? You will use perimeter to measure the outside length of any 2D shape. If you wanted to build a fence, you could use perimeter. What happens if the 2D shape isn't just a square or rectangle? Try to divide the shape into rectangles or squares and then fill in any missing measurements. So, if my backyard looked like two rectangles that had been put together, I could split my backyard into two rectangles and work out both perimeters. That's correct. Then just add the two perimeters together to get the total perimeter. What about area? Area is amount of surface a 2D shape covers. Okay, so perimeter is the outside and area is all the space inside a 2D shape. That is correct. Wow, you're really getting it. Thank you. But how do I work out the area of a shape? To work out the area of a 2D shape we simply multiply the length and width together. We must also remember to write the type of measurement and squared. For example if we were measuring in meters as our type of measurement, at the end we would write m squared, or m with a little 2 above it. Wow! Length times width. That's right. Don't forget, just like in perimeter. If the shape isn't a rectangle or square divide the shape into rectangles or squares and then length times width. When might I use area? You may use area to work out the space inside any 2D shape or imagine you are going to mow your lawn and you want to know the surface area. You could use area by multiplying length and width together. What happens if the shape isn't a 2D shape but it is a 3D object? With 3D objects we have to multiply one more dimension. What is the third dimension? The third dimension is height. We multiply length, width and height to get the volume of a 3D object. To work out volume I multiply length, width and height. I thought to work out volume I just looked at my stereo. Ha 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 we are talking about a different volume. Looking at your stereo won't help you work out the space inside a 3D object. When would I need to work out volume? You would need to calculate volume when you need to find the space within a 3D object. Imagine you need to work out how much you can fit into a box. Or how much water you will need to fill your pool. Instead of writing our type of measurement squared. This time we write the type of measurement and cubed. Or our type of measurement with a little 3 above it.